it's talk about Jim being in witness protection. Hit the like button. Go on this video, a thousand likes. People want to know about this. You know, it's more news coming out every day. People woke up and seen this guy eating a Mickey D burger, man. That's how much people got for this. You know, I looked in the paperwork and all the stuff that was released. I didn't really see Jim's name, but people are pointing him as a conspirator in this case and telling and his homies and people who cool with Dirk posting him up, posting this picture up. So he's in this, okay? You know, some people say he locked up. When you do the homework and look him up, you can't find him in no databases. It looked like his name was removed out of all the databases, the FBI databases, the regular state police database. People can't find him. He ain't responded to these allegations. He the type of dude, somebody would have said something. His family members would have said something. Boy, that nigga ain't dead. Nothing fuck y'all talking about them, them other snake ass niggas. Nobody has responded on his behalf, which means People feel like he didn't broker the deal with the feds. He had witness protection. He done with all this game banging, BD hanging with Dirk and them. He done. He didn't deal what he had to do. You know, I could believe that to a certain extent because this guy hasn't responded. People can't find him nowhere in databases or nothing like that. It's people saying he's in witness protection. You know, it's been a lot of speculation now. His baby mama lost her life. She the postal worker that went viral all over the internet. I'm not 100% sure of that, you know, I do believe his baby mother lost her life, but I don't think it was that postal worker, I think it was somebody else, if I'm not mistaken, damn baby mama lost her life in a different part of Illinois, I could be wrong though, but I do believe it was a different part of Illinois, you know, this internet loves to break stories first and all kind of things like that, gotta be very careful with that, you know, because these are real big charges, a lot of people uh, don't understand that, you know, Dirk is facing a big time case, you know, the charges that he is facing that he orchestrated and planned a hit on somebody that ended up not killing that person, but killing this cousin, you know, um, just somebody they call Lil Paul, but people say this was a regular guy. You got to go listen to Vlad TV interview with Quando Rondo when he speaks about, man, look, I'm different, bro. Bro, I'm different, bro. Can we just leave that in the past? Even if somebody smack me, you think I'm finna try to do what I gotta do to try to get them back and kill them because they smack me and I'm gonna do all this stuff to get them, bro. Because then, you know, years later you get caught, people gonna look at you and think you stupid for that. Do you hear what he said? He just explained to you Lil Dirk gonna get arrested for Lil Pop murder. And this interview with Vlad was out you know, about a month, about a month ago, before this even happened, he explained to you that, you know, if somebody did something to him, he wouldn't get to get back as far as planning something and trying to get them back and things like that. You get what I'm saying? So Pop and them family knew. You think the feds just shocked them? No. They knew it was going to be a rest maze. The feds was updating Pop family. We, have, we got these leads. We got these names. We're going to be making a rest soon. You know, just chill. We're going to be making a rest soon. So Quando and them knew that, you know. Um, but like I say, Dirk's innocent to proven guilty. But I wanted to bring to your attention, people are seeing Jam, which is Dirk, close homie, back in the day, you know, told on him. You know, this is crazy out here. I don't know. The internet is wild, you know. But I do know it looks like that guy life is, could be in jeopardy, could be in danger, wherever he's at. You know, it's a lot of love for Dirk, yo, you know. It's a lot of people got to go back to work now. Like on some real stuff. It's, man, it's a lot of people got to go back to work. You feel me? It's a lot of people got to go back to work now. Like real talk. You got to understand, it was a lot of people on dirt payroll. It's a lot of good people who got shit to do with the streets and none of that makeup artists, you know, and day-to-day -day maids and all this shit here that's probably not going to be able to have these jobs no more because dirt gone. You know what I'm saying? And people don't understand that. This is real. This not no joke, man. This this street stuff get deep. But it's a lot of people probably got to go back to work now, you know, when things happen like this. But subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. I want to ask y'all a question, though, man. And this is a real question, man, because I do all the talking all the time. That's why I want y'all to do some talking. I read every comment, too, so leave a comment. I want to know, how do y'all feel about this whole Lil Durk situation, you know? Is it free him or is it, you know, hey, shit, he did that, he needs to be locked up. I want to know because a lot of people talk about pushing peace. 
A lot of people talk about, you know, all this and that. Lil Paul was not there when King Brown lost his life. He was an innocent victim. So the police is seeing an innocent person lost his life by the hands of Lil Durk. And a lot of y'all are seeing freedom, you know. And a lot of people are saying, leave me in there. So I want to know, how do y'all feel about the situation? You know, do you feel like free Lil Durk? Or do you feel like me should be in there? Or do you feel like we're going to let this case play out? Because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let this case play out. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is the homie too. But that's a hard question to ask, though, man. You know, I want to know, though. Blah, 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 bl